What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we have a Toyota Corolla 04, 05 model, something like that. But we are doing kind of like a recall type thing. This right here had this speedometer gear right here. They, and some of these had the wrong ones. You have to look it up on your VIN. But they want you to replace this right here because it will throw a like P01734 or something code like that. I'll look it up for you. And I'll put up the recall number and everything probably somewhere in the video right now. But this is the part number for the updated part. It is the drive gear that goes into the speedometer. 33403-29395. And that is a Toyota part number. And this did come from Toyota. The way we do this is yeah, it ain't really too hard. We're going to pull this air tube off. We're going to pull all these connectors off and all that good stuff. Because I think that that just pulls out. Yeah, I have to do it a different way, but we're going to take these connectors. We're going to take this bracket off. And it houses this wire right here, too. So let's see if I can get this connector off. We got it in a bad spot. doing it one-handed and it wants to keep sticking well I gotta pull that off then we'll pull the air box the air box is just these two connectors you got a hose right here and then you have a hose clamp right there and I think that is it once you get the air box up and out of the way if there's more I'll let y'all know when I bring it back as you can see we took the cover off this one only had two bolts holding it on it was uh, two in the front. They should have had four most of the time. They got two in the back and two in the front. But um, one of them goes through right there. We took the hose off here and then just these two right there. The hose clamp and it come right off. Here it is. That's two little hoses. That's the big hose. And then this clamp right there. There's your cover. Like I said, it was that one, that one, and there should have been two more, but they weren't there. Now, your speed sensor is next to the engine. I don't know how well y'all can see. But this wire right there, you see that little sensor? Should be like, I think, a 10 millimeter in that connector. And you pull it out, and we'll show you what the gears and everything look like whenever I pull it out. But that's it right there on the front of the transmission up near the bell housing where the heater hoses go like right in there it's a little hard to see sometimes but it is right there and it uses i think a 10 millimeter to pull it out but let me pull it out real quick here it is right here we got it out and i had to use a pair of pliers grab onto the top and just turn it a little bit to break it free and then it pulled right out no issues and three wire here it is, I'm gonna show y'all how we change it. it. Comes with all the uh, gaskets, the, like the little O-ring that goes around the outside. Comes with a new clip, the gear, all that. So, I'm just gonna pull that out. All you do is just flip it around. That's just like a little retainer right there that just retains that in there. Then you just pull that out. And now inside of here, I think there's a groove. You can see that groove. Make sure it goes back in on that groove. And you can tell the difference. It looks like it's a little bit bigger, maybe. Grooves look a little deeper on the new one too inside of here. So that could be another thing that it did right. and it's kind of spring loaded and push it down because there is a groove and then you can push it in and it shouldn't move as much now we're going to change out this o-ring. got a pick right here. Just pry it up with your hand. 
and take it off. Here's your new one. Slide it on. Make sure you lube this up. I'll put a little bit of lube on it. Uh, let me be right back. Just got a little bit of barren grease. Oh, I did. Put on here just to lube up this seal. And that is it. Now, I gotta wipe my hand off. But, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in and torque it down. Then we're going to reset the code, let them drive it, see if it goes away. And, because the other fix is to actually put the solenoid in there. And then if that doesn't work, you have to um, replace the whole transmission actually which we're trying to avoid that so we're hoping that this fix it I'm going through service data of Toyota and their uh, TSB and recall status but like I said I'm gonna put that up for y'all with the number and everything so y'all have that uh, this bolt that holds this in I was wrong wasn't a 10 it's a 12 millimeter also it torques to nine foot pounds let me put this back in while we're at, we're going to do a transmission drain and fill. Um, he did have the filter changed recently. And I think it's 14 that does this. It does have a drain plug. And we just want to do a full fluid drain and fill. I don't know how well can see that. A little dark, not bad. We just wanted to get all the fluid changed on it. Here's your drain plug. Toyota does not make fluid for this anymore. So we are using Valvoline. This right here is just max life. But we're going to drain this and fill her back up. I think it uses like four quarts. Not quite sure, but we're gonna we're gonna check it and see. But let me get this finished. I'm gonna put the uh, when you tighten this back up, it torques to like 25 newton meters is what it says, so roughly 20 foot pounds, 20 uh, 18 foot pounds, something like that. So uh, just don't over tighten it. Uh, you can do it by hand, but. You know the one that's the stuff when if you start to feel it slipping, you're going too far. Looking at the specs says 3.2 quarts for a drain and refill or pan removal. So make sure that we get a funnel. We got a small opening on the bottom. Kind of leave it loose that way it can suck air in beside it. Don't put it in tight. If you do, you'll start burping the funnel and start splashing everywhere. So we got one gallon right here. I'm gonna put in three quarts before I crank it up. No, actually, I might do like two and a half or two. So I'd rather start with that than I would put three in there, then it'd be over full, then I have to vacuum some of it out, which would be pain in the butt. I'm just going to go in and shift it to all the gears real quick. Okay, we're in the car. We're going to clear the code out. Uh, get y'all situated. Where y'all can actually see this. And I'm not wrapped around my shifter. Let's sit right here. It'll be easier. So this is, I think, MS906. Got the cable with it. Uh, we just did auto 
Toyota. We're not keeping record of that one. That way I can actually see it. There we go. Read that. I only got 7% on this. This isn't my scanner. This is the dealership I work for. It's an 05. This right here is a good, cheaper uh, bi directional scanner from Alltail. Uh, this one's under $1,000. Uh, I know $1,000 is a lot to spend on a tool for some people. Um, but that is a good price for a good bi directional scanner. Uh, I'll put a link to this if I can find one on Alltail. Or not Alltail, but um, what you call it? Amazon. Uh, but these are the codes. It was a P0741 code, not a 34. But there is a TSB recall type thing with uh, this code. And it says try the new updated gear. I think the gear was like $25, something like that. So I figured try that. And then if that doesn't work, change the solenoid. If that doesn't work, it says to change the transmission itself. So hopefully this fixes it if not we'll change solenoid we already have it i think solenoid was like 70 dollars something like that from toyota so we're going to erase codes mission off on engine off yes camera right your trouble codes want to always double check it's just i have it in mind no codes all right and if you look at live data on this thing, it does show some erratic torque converter solenoid um, switching on it. Doesn't do the way that it really should. It kind of goes in and out, cuts off and on. And I don't really like that because I did look at live uh, data as I was driving it when it came over. And that's when we found the TSB recall, yada yada. But that's it. Uh, just wanted to do a video on how to change out that speedometer gear. I know I didn't see anything on that. Uh, oh, by the way, your OBD is right here under your little uh, flapper door. It's right there. Just pull it out. But like I said, just wanted to do a video on how to change that. It wasn't really a lot of information on where this was located and how to do it. So I figured why not be one of the first ones to do it if i can but this is going to conclude this repair if y'all have any questions comment concerns let me know in the comment section i'll get to them as soon as possible and if i did something wrong let me know or if i did something that i could done quicker on this or a little trick you know let me know as well I do have uh shirts hats stickers all that stuff we're going to be doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers appreciate all my members all my uh subscribers uh my followers on all the other platforms um also uh recently got a super thanks thank you to the person who did that i really appreciate that that uh does help out the channel and that's pretty much it on this video if you like the video like subscribe hit the notification bell and y'all remember torque this tight and y'all have a great day